So today we're gonna to be doing something quite different on the channel. If you're a YouTuber that just started the channel or simply a viewer that's curious about the topic we're gonna to discuss, then keep watching. So as we all know, YouTubers make money from YouTube. YouTubers can make money from promotions, sponsored videos, or the new feature that YouTube released a while back named Super Chat, which viewers are able to actually give uh, money to YouTubers while they're, I believe, live and et cetera. The primary way that YouTubers make money is, of course, ads. You know, the ads you may see, you know, on the side of the video, before the video, even during the video. That is how YouTubers are making money. And as of January 30th, I am monetized and making money from ads on YouTube. Just a quick backstory, YouTube is not my primary career. I do have a career outside of YouTube, and that is how I make my primary income. And of course, as of the 30th, like I mentioned, YouTube now in a way is a side job, which I will love to, of course, make it a career one day as well. Now, I, of course, mainly focus on reaction videos and also skits that consist of, you know, comedy skits, like, you know, introducing characters and whatnot. But I mainly put out reaction videos of popular videos that are on the internet. And as we know, the internet is full of a lot of uh, different types of videos. I've actually been on YouTube for a couple of years. My wife and I mainly did a vlog channel, which is no longer active and we started focusing on our own YouTube channels, which led me to have DJB Skits and Reactions created. May of 2019 is pretty much where it all began for my consistency to start rolling through, and now we are here as of today. And I am very proud of that, like honestly. it's It's been a long journey, but again, this is pretty much the beginning, I would like to say. All right, enough of that. So now to get to why you're here. So a lot of the big YouTubers that we know and watch, of course, make pretty much a killing every day, every week, month, year. You know, they can afford a very, very uh, wealthy lifestyle. Not all YouTubers may flaunt, I would say, the things that they buy or what they can afford. And you know, some are very uh, humble. Just to give you an example, a channel with a million subscribers in a year can make $100,000 or more. A lot of viewers, including me, before I started making money, kind of thought that at first, you know, YouTubers with a million subscribers would make a lot more than that. but that number can vary for a lot of reasons, and we're gonna cover those reasons on this video. I am going to include the amount of money I made in January, although I was monetized as of January 30th. And as you can see, in January, I only made 91 cents. So <laughs> that's a lot of dough, right? I'm rolling in money. No, I mean, what it is is that, of course, that's when it all began. And I will say this, honest to God, as soon as I got monetized, things started to, in a way, blow up. Now, I'm not gonna say, blow up in the sense of, you know, I'm not at a million subscribers or even 10,000 subscribers, but I did notice a huge traffic change on my channel once I became monetized. All right, so February rolls around. February was a pretty interesting month, I would say. In February, I gained 1,300-ish, I'm gonna say ish because I don't know the exact number, subscribers. And again, that was a big, like, push. That was just kind of, again, sporadic in a way. But as I mentioned, once I got monetized, Again, things had a sudden change and it was very noticeable. The amount of revenue that I was able to make in February was $135.23. Again, huge difference from 91 cents, again, it was only two days though, all the way to $135. That's not a whole lot of money, of course, but at the same time, that is really great. You know, I'm proud of that amount, you know, and it's, it's insane to even think about. So the way I made $135 throughout that month Again, varies like I mentioned. CPM, which stands for cost per mile, is how much you're gonna make per 1,000 views. And that's as simple as that. However, there are some takes on this and there's a lot of different things that come into play. YouTube takes half of the amount you make per 1,000 views. So for example, in the month of February, my channel-wide CPM was $3.36. So essentially, 1,000 views got me $3.36. However, YouTube takes half of that. So from a channel wide perspective, if I got 1,000 views, I would actually make a dollar. Oh, my math is bad right now. <laughs> I would actually have made a dollar and 68 cents. Again, not a whole lot, but at the same time, it can be a whole lot. Now, here's where things get a little bit more detailed. As I mentioned, this was a channel wide CPM. However, each individual video and even different video types have different CPM. So as you can see here, my top earning video was a Meat Canyon uh, reaction, which was the Meat Canyon Wabbit season, that made me $17.61. So looking here, my CPM for this video was actually only $2.22. So theoretically, I made $1.11 per 1,000 views, which again, not a whole lot, but when you think about it this way, in the month of February, this ranked up 32,000 views, which in my eyes, that's pretty insane. You know, I get it, a lot of YouTubers are freaking averaging this in a day or even an hour, but 
this is a proud milestone, I would say, and again, I'm very happy about that. Now, as I mentioned, different video types will have either a higher or lower CPM, and that varies quite a bit on YouTube. You can't really figure that out unless you, you know, mess around with the type of uploads that you're doing. From what I've noticed, if the video is one like this, for example, or if it's a vlog, uh, just something that is about specific topics, I guess that, I don't know, are more ad friendly. Those typically have higher CPM. Now, when it comes to certain things like reaction videos, yes, although there is a human, I'm the human, in the video during reaction to, for example, like the Me Canyon videos, that's an animation. Those tend to have lower CPM. Now, for example, I have a video called If Cartoons Were Real. Now, in a way, this does fall under film and animation because this is actually me showcasing a whole bunch of art or drawings that I found on the internet that are portraying cartoons as being real life. Now, although this kind of falls under, in my opinion, the same category as a Meat Canyon reaction video, this had a drastically different CPM. So in the month of February, this may be $7.57. Okay, that's not $17. However, in February, this only got 1,600 views. And the reason why is because its CPM is actually $10.23, which, if you do the calculations, for 1,000 views, this actually made me roughly $5.12. So way different CPM, I have way less views, but I only made $10 less on this video. Like for example, I have two videos, Black Naruto, and my YouTube Rewind reaction. Those video CPMs are pretty darn high. The CPM for the Black Naruto video is $31.48, which means for every 1,000 views I would get on that video, I would be making roughly $15.74 which is pretty damn good. Now, this is where it gets a little crazy. And again, I don't understand it. It's, it's, it's everywhere. For my YouTube Rewind reaction, that video CPM is $123.42. So if that video ever amassed 1,000 views, that's roughly $61.71, which is pretty dang insane. I think that's the highest CPM within any of my videos. But unlike my reactions, these videos are not getting that much traction. And of course, that's okay. You know, one day it could happen, who knows, but that's just to give you an example of how up and down CPMs can be, depending on what kind of video it is and what it's relating to. Again, you really have to mess around with what kind of video uploads you're gonna be doing. Now, you won't, unfortunately won't be able to see this information until you are monetized, which to become monetized, you have to have 4,000 watch hours and at least 1,000 subscribers. One other thing I have heard about CPM, and again, I haven't been making money long at all to really know the true answer. I have heard that CPM is actually a lot lower in the beginning of the year. CPM kind of stems from what kind of ads are pretty much readily available for your channel or your videos to be able to showcase to the viewers. Like for example, when roughly November, December comes around when you know holiday shopping is going around, of course, you know, everyone's buying gifts, CPM will be a lot higher than what they are right now because now stores are showing these ads for like, you know, gaming systems, you know, come to this store to shop for all your holiday needs, stuff like that. Again, there's a lot that goes into it. I'm quite sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube detailing CPM and how it really gets the information or how it figures things out. You know, there's so many algorithms going on here. In the month of February, I actually only published 19 videos. And that actually, I feel like I've published a lot more than that, but obviously, Peter won't lie. So 19 videos and you know, again, the amount of views that I got collectively in the month of February led to the amount that I got. And that's with the majority of the videos being monetized. However, there were some videos that have limited ads, which means they, that YouTube will only showcase maybe one ad uh, to you or even zero. And that's because the video isn't that ad friendly due to, you know, whatever they picked up. And I may have had a video or two that I actually couldn't monetize due to copyright reasons. Another thing to keep in mind is that videos that are 10 minutes or longer will usually make you more money. And that is because you're actually able to put ads within the video instead of just before and after. So videos less than 10 minutes only get an ad before and an ad after. And sometimes those ads aren't even guaranteed to show. So pretty much every time a YouTuber gets a view, that doesn't mean that an ad played, especially if you're using an ad blocker or you know, YouTube pretty much did not dish out an ad for the viewer to see. Or sometimes there may be an ad at the beginning of the video and not one at the end of the video or vice versa. I didn't necessarily notice that my videos that are 10 minutes or longer got more views and that's definitely not the case, uh, especially compared to the reaction videos like the Wabbit season one that made me my most money. But there are speculations out there that if your videos are 10 minutes or longer, again, more ads, which equals typically more money, but also apparently the algorithms like those videos and will recommend it to viewers a lot more. Again, this is only 
theories here. Not too sure. Now, when it comes to the amount I made, I have not gotten paid for that amount yet. And that's because YouTube hasn't sent the money over to AdSense, which is owned by Google, which YouTube is owned by Google as well. But what will happen is once the money is received, by AdSense, Google will ACH that money into my bank account that I have tied to the account. Now, the only way for you to get paid by Google though is to meet the payment threshold, which the threshold is $100 or more. So for example, if you only made $75 one month, you won't get that money until you made an additional $25 or more within the next month. But in my opinion, unless somehow you have a whole bunch of limited ads, you know, copyright issues and whatnot. I don't see you making less than $100 a month, honestly. That's just my take so far. Because as of March, and this is talking as the fifth, and today's the seventh, I've made $50 so far. So that should pretty much put it in perspective. If it's only been five days that have been processed and it's already $50, again, unless you have a different scenario than what I have going on, I don't see you making less than that. One thing to mention as well is that the payments that you receive from YouTube or Google are not taxed. So you will want to put away your rough tax bracket, you know, 24%, 30%, whatever you fall under, away into like another savings account or somehow if you're making that much money, you may want to hire a CPA. Again, I'm not making too much money, of course, yet. And I'm very aware of my finances. So what I'm going to be doing, especially when I get my first payment, is putting roughly 30% away. And that's each time I get a payment. Payments for YouTube are only monthly. I've heard from some people that you usually get paid around the middle end of the month, like the 20th or so. That's when you should see the money in your bank account. All right, I hope that was detailed enough for you guys. Most likely in 2021, in January, I will make a video on how much I've made within my first year of making money on YouTube. And... Yeah, when that time comes, of course, be on the lookout for it. The main thing to be to reach that point on YouTube of becoming monetized and et cetera is stay consistent. Stay consistent. It is going to be hard. Like, oh man, it's going to be challenging. There's going to be times where you want to quit. Always going to be times you want to quit. I mean, that's kind of thing, everything in life. But you really got to push through that feeling and just keep it going. If you really want it, it's going to be worth it in the end. Just keep pushing forward. Again, it was a challenge, but once I was able to kind of figure things out, because you, you got to do your research, you have to, you know, look up to the people that you are watching, you know, see what they're doing and kind of getting a feel of that, you know, doing your homework, you know, and kind of following their footsteps to get to, you know, the point where I am or beyond that. And you have to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. It can but it's very, very rare. Like you have to do some crazy crap or just hit a crazy algorithm for you to be able to just make money like that. And just so you're aware, you have to get accepted into the partner program by YouTube to even start making money. It's not just that once you hit that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours milestone that you just instantly start making money. No, that's not how that works. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to be notified whenever I post. And give this video a huge thumbs up. And it has been DJB. Peace out.